start off today, we've got another rising Afro talent that we want to bring onto your radar as Rachel Kerr celebrates the release of her debut EP. And after coming across Rachel's talent and getting to know her a little better, it's evident why this young woman has already graced the stage alongside the likes of Music Soul Child, Donnell Jones and Kirk Franklin. Father, father, walk with me Through the rain and through the storm The road is long, the way is rough And I can do it on my own Not a man of foreign place Home is foreign, this is new But as I step in destiny louder Father, help me persecute Father um, back to music. It's an incredible EP. I'm really proud of it. I think right about now there's so many different brands of music out there that are all about, you know, kind of synthy and really contemporary, which is great. I love that. But at the same time, I'm all about it being stripped back and being just good music and timeless classic music. I get inspiration from so many different things. I think more than anything, probably life experiences. Um, if I haven't been through everything that I've written about, then I've got a girlfriend or a friend or a brother who has. So life experiences, um, I'm influenced by anything. I mean, I went to Jamaica recently and I got influenced by just being there and wrote songs out of that and just anything. I think one thing about an artist or any artist who's a songwriter, it doesn't take a lot to inspire us. My musical journey for me began in church. Um, my dad's a very well-known gospel singer, and my family all sing, they're all in the kind of entertainment industry within gospel. And I've always say this, but I'm kind of from the old school church where before you're even able to speak, they put you on the altar to sing and tell you to kind of bless the congregation. So when you have that kind of upbringing, you know that music's gonna be something that's with you for the rest of your life. Um, I think a lot of people have said that the, the current sound or the current music is more mainstream. Um, that is something that it hasn't been a conscious thing. I think one thing about me is I'm, I've always said I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian artist, but I am a woman as well. So as much as I will sing about, um, you know, my love for Christ, I'll also sing about, you know, handling my girls, going out, um, love, and all the things that women experience as well. If that's what you call mainstream, I'll take it. I could be the world's best VIP. People celebrate when they see me. Oh, me. I could be a singing superstar. When people know my songs both near and far. Being nominated for a MOBO, I mean, it was incredible. It made me feel like wow people know my name it's even to this day it's really crazy because everything you hear on the EP and most of what you'll hear on the album to come is are things are songs that I wrote pretty much when I started about 11 really really young in my bedroom on my karaoke machine so when you hear people say your name on an award ceremony I've been watching since I was really young it makes you think how did something that started off in my bedroom get to be like this, this big. I remember being at the Mobile Awards and looking around and just being like a little bit overwhelmed just to say, how did I get here? I've been so fortunate in my career thus far. Um, my highlights whew, would probably be the mobiles. 
alongside opening for the likes of um, touring with the likes of Music Soul Child, Daniel Jones, Kurt Franklin, Fred Hammond. You see the glitz and the glamour of it from an external point of view, but it's only when you're in their presence you realise that this music industry, this business requires so much from their artists. It's not just about singing a song and going home and carrying on with your normal life. It very much becomes your life. So the reason that I guess they're enumerated as well as they are, the reason why they're celebrated as much as they are is because literally it's their all. Should I ever go astray? Please don't take your hand away. Send protection, shelter me. Lead me to a brighter When I started singing, since I was really young, I was compared to everybody and everything. And I think that's something that's common for most female artists. I understand it. Um, when a new female artist comes out, and pe people always want to associate something that's unknown with something familiar. So, and um, as I said, compared to many, many artists, for me, I see it twofold. On the one hand, it's kind of like, wow, these are very big shoes to fill. And we're not talking about any local artists, we're talking about icons that I'm being compared to, which makes me feel a little bit like, wow, okay, one step at a time. I'm Rachel, give me time to be me. <laughs> but at the same time, you've got to see it as a compliment as well and realize that rather they can pay to great females who've paved the way for artists like me than people who are never known.